Hello, I'm Greg Galdabini, Editor-in-Chief of FreeEnterprise.com, and I'm here with my colleague, Katie Dennis. March Madness is upon us. Katie and I are here to break down the bracket, but we're not talking hoops, and thank goodness, because Katie here is an Indiana University alum. We invite you to join Hoosier Nation at any time, just because you went to the wrong Indiana school for this time of year. We're here to talk about a different kind of madness, an avalanche of health care law regulations piling up on our nation's employers. Obamacare has produced 20,000 pages of regulations. That's enough to publish War and Peace 14 times or cover the length of 61 football fields. How many basketball courts does that translate to, Greg? Good question. I wasn't a math major. The U.S. Chamber's health care policy team has poured over these regulations, selecting and seeding the eight most maddening. So it's up to you, the audience, to decide which regulation goes all the way and cuts down the net. So let's take a look at this year's not-so-elite eight regulations in I this gotta field. Know. I gotta know who's number one. Who got it? Well, Katie, the selection committee says here that the employer mandate regulation is the number one seed. You know, I really think that the number one seed was a little bit controversial, but I think they ultimately made the right choice. I mean, this is kind of a, a, a legend, right? They've been here a lot. There's a lot of parity in this year's field. I think it's anyone's game to win, but I do think that the employer mandate one is probably the strongest of the field, and here's why. It's not just covering your employees that you have to do, it's the employees and their dependents. And that's something I don't know that small businesses are prepared for, and it's gonna be a little bit of a shock when it comes around to them. Katie, I absolutely agree with you. Um, but as outrageous as that regulation is, I think the one that defines essential health benefits is one to watch out for in this tournament. So what is this exactly? Well, this regulation extends the mental health parity law to plans in the small group and individual markets. So what does that mean? These plans must cover mental health benefits in a way that mirrors the coverage of medical benefits. You make a great point, Greg. I mean, if the essential health benefits package can go the distance, it's got a shot that's just as good as anyone else in the field. Yeah, I, I totally agree. Here's a case of a regulation going well beyond the intent of the law and small businesses are bearing the brunt of the pain. That's a flagrant file as far as I'm concerned. Let's take a look at the bracket's potential Cinderella's. The regulations that could surprise many with a deep run in this tournament. I'm keeping an eye on the rate review regulation. It's a good one. Do you know about this one? A little bit. So the federal government says that it must establish a process to review unreasonable increases in premiums. But the regulation goes a step further and states that if a health insurance issuer raises its rates on just one product, even if it's a reasonable rate increase, it must submit a rate filing explanation for all of its products even for those products with no rate increases. That's gotta be a foul, right? It's big Flagrant time foul. Oh, big time government interference in the marketplace. Greg, I think you've got something with the rate review reg. They could very well be wearing the ruby slippers, but I wanna throw out one more Cinderella that we haven't talked about yet that I think people need to know about. I'm listening. 60% threshold. The law states that employers must offer plans that cover at least 60% of the cost of covered services. Sounds reasonable. Sure, but Employer provided health savings accounts, or HSAs, all the funds used to pay for covered services are not entirely counted toward that 60% threshold. That's outrageous. It's just not fair. You're right. I mean, I think they've got a shot. So there you have it, the 2013 Regulatory Madness Bracket Healthcare Edition. It's up to you, the audience, to determine which reg goes the distance and is crowned the most maddening regulation of them all. Log on to freeenterprise.com now to fill out your bracket and check in on Monday, April 1st to find out the winners of our tournament. For Katie, myself, and the rest of the team at freeenterprise.com, enjoy the madness.